Hi everyone, so I'm back in the room, this time I've got two students and this time we're going to look at breakout rooms. Right, so let us go to the session, the place where you can find breakout rooms and that's in the shared content. So breakout groups, first of all click on the breakout groups, I'm going to send Ida to group one, I'm going to send Susie to group two. I could make as many more groups as I wanted, just on the, the plus signs, but two groups is plenty for you to see how it works. I'm going to allow attendees to switch groups because next time I might ask them to go into a different group, five groups of two instead of two groups of five or whatever. Okay, and now I'm going to click on start. So start the breakout groups, start. Now it's starting breakout groups and it's telling me I'm in the main room, which is just as well because I want to go to my work, my shared files, and I want to share the discussion document that which we're all going to talk about. So I'm going to click on the three little buttons and at the bottom it says share with groups. I'm going to share it with all groups and share it with all groups and share now. So now we can see that it's shared with group one and group two. So let me go back to my breakouts and I'm going to update these groups now. And it does take a few seconds for everything to work, to work out where what it's updating and where people are. No problem though. So now as soon as it's updated, you can see that I'm in the top room there. I'm on my own in the main room, just one person in the main room. There's a group of one in group one here and if I click on the arrow I can join group one and it says I'm moving and my audio and video are being connected and now you can see I'm in group one with Ida, the iPad, and the iPad is sharing the document which I sent out at the beginning of the session. So we're having a nice big discussion about that. I am going now to visit, can you see the little pathway, join group two. And now it says I'm moving to group two, my audio and video are being connected. And I'm in with Susie this time and she's sharing the document as well. And as soon as I'm in there, you can see I can go back to room one or I can go back to the main room. Okay, now this is the whole breakout room rooms panel and I could make more rooms. I can move people around at the moment. They can move themselves around as well. So if I said Susie and iPad Ida, I want you in the same room next time for this discussion, they can do that. And this button here is the same stop symbol as you get when you stop sharing, but it is end breakouts. So I'm going to end breakouts now and now we're returning to the main room. And there we are, we're all back in the main room. So the breakouts are found, quite bizarrely I think, in the share content. That's where you make your groups, you add people to rooms, you make your groups that are going to go off. And then when you've made your groups, you can come back and share your documents with them. And then you update the groups so that everybody's, so that it's all happy and settled, it knows where everybody is. And then you can pop in and out of each room. Okay, it's not difficult. Thanks for listening.